So guys, welcome back to another show. Paul Kennedy here. Now, um, I was around the back of my house um, earlier this week. Um, I wanted to go out shooting. Um, I decided to go out shooting to say if it was raining, I don't care. I'm still going out. Thunderstorms, I don't care. I'm still going out. Um, but lucky enough, um, I got in between showers and I went out. <laughs> but um, this place that I, was, uh, I wanted to go to was actually just uh, at the back of my house it's actually just like literally if you jump the fence you'd be there um, especially now we're all in lockdown and you can't really go anywhere well you can't go too far you can only keep it local and minimum exercise stuff like that but uh, yeah this place was just down um, down the back um, I'm gonna um, show you now and uh, you'll be able to see it um, yeah so I'm just gonna play it uh, I managed to get some photos, um, I'll show you them later. So just, uh, I'll play that little clip and uh, I'll get back to this. All right guys, so I decided to uh, come out and uh, have a walk around. Rain or no rain, I decided to hell with it. Whoa, <laughs> uh, that I'm gonna come out and uh, shoot something today. Now I didn't like I didn't travel too far. I'm practically just in uh, my back garden, literally, almost. It's uh, you might have seen it before. It's like a little stream down there because it was been raining. It's uh, moving quite fast. It's just uh, a problem is it's um, trying to get down there because it's absolutely muddy. It's slippy and. Oh, Gonna be in my, in my land in my in my arse, um, but we'll see. Let me try and get down here first. All right, so we made it down. Now there is a path down here. That's it there, and there's one over there somewhere. But they're absolutely muddy as hell. So I decided to come down through there, through the trees and the bushes and the briars and everything else. So this is the place. I'm not gonna leave here until I at least get one image that's all I want one image see and it goes around to there so let's try and uh, I don't know I think it's in my first image but I have to get through all that I think I came to the wrong side go oh! But, uh, bugger it, I'm gonna go and get set up. Alright, so there's roughly my uh, first image of what I'm gonna be taking. Something in along the lines of, of this. Uh, just look in there, so it just follows the stream. So your eye just takes you straight to the, the back end of the photo. So, uh, yeah, let's capture that and see what the story is in after that. All right, um, to be honest, there really isn't that much else uh, I can take. I took a few long exposures um, of the water, but that was with my phone, which uh, I'll explain later when we go back to the uh, office to edit the stuff and uh, do the video but um they, yeah they worked out pretty well actually but uh yeah i'm just going to um see if i can get one or two more and that's about it i think i'll head on from there um see what there is i don't think there's going to be anything much more really than what i just took you know it's just during when it was like um snowing this place was a lot different uh, it was a lot nicer uh, there was more character to the place but uh, now it's just a, a really mucky hole with uh, a little fast kind of river or stream whichever you want to call it um, yeah I'll see what's on up that way but uh, I can't imagine there's anything more 
Um, thank God I'm wearing my, my shoes, man, my boots. They're a lifesaver. Good investment for a good hiking boots that are uh, waterproof and everything. Highly recommend them because, my God, is it, oh, oh man, <laughs> that was rough. Uh, let's see. Oh jeez, let's see what's over here anyway. Oh well, was as expected. Absolutely nothing. The river just uh, or stream, whatever, just tends to um, quieten down and flow off. So yeah. I'm just gonna head back now and just um, see what images I've got and see what I can do with them. Uh, but I think I have, I do have something. I do, I do have something that I can work with. So all in all, it kind of was worth coming down here. See, not a bad wee spot, but again, better whenever it's uh, whenever it's snowing. So let's go back to the office. So guys, that was the little um, area, the little wooded area with uh, a river um, flowing through it that uh, is just around the back of my house. And um, I managed to get like, uh, well, two, two images, but uh, I wasn't really thinking that I edited one image, one, one like portrait image of it three times. And I didn't really know I did that um, until I actually looked in the folder and I thought, you know what, you know, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys decide which is the better one and uh, you can tell me in the comments below. Um, so I'm going to just uh, throw them up here now and let you look at them and you can decide for yourself which is the best and leave a little comment below. So here they are. That was the images that I took. Um, there wasn't that much around that area because it's very, it's very small area, and that seemed to be the best uh, kind of place um, to take a picture. Uh, you know, off this little uh, stream or river, whatever you want to call it. But um, in saying that, I I took it with my phone. Now, I don't know if uh, a lot of people know this, maybe they do, but I'll let you know anyway. Um, that was taken with a, a 7 Plus, an iPhone 7 Plus, which is probably about five years now, five years old. Um, I don't know if the phone before that can do this, uh, take long exposures, but uh, I'll tell you now how to. Um, your phone has to be in live mode in order to do this. So you can see at the top of your uh, camera, there's like, two little circles, one inside each other. If you tap on that, it'll go yellow for activate and it'll just say off whenever it's off, it'll just stay white. So like if you go into your live mode and then you take the picture, obviously of water or uh, car lights or whatever, and you take the picture, straight off the back, it doesn't look like a long exposure. You have to swipe up, go to your gallery and swipe up, pick the picture you want, swipe up, and uh, underneath that, you'll have a few little options. You'll have like uh, your normal life image that you just took, or you got bounce and you got loop. Um, beside that, you've got long exposure. If you click on the long exposure, it will turn that into a long exposure. I don't know, the software, whatever that's in the phone, will uh, find out what the moving parts are and just smooth it all out. As you can see here, I don't know, it, wor it works pretty good. Um, I haven't tried it out on traffic or anything like that, forget the car lights or whatever, but uh, yeah, it might be something that uh, I might do whenever, you know, I'm out at night or something like that there, uh, doing urban uh, photography whenever we're allowed to go, you know, a little bit further than local. Um, but yeah, worked out well, right? Now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, always remember to um, give it a little like, leave some comments, and uh, subscribe is a, is a big one. So um, yeah, please subscribe because it's really helping out the channel a lot. And um, keep an eye out for my, my next video. 
Um, if you subscribe, you get that little bell notification so you'll know whenever I, I post a video. Um, but in my next one, I'm gonna use uh, these uh, little filters here that I've had for ages. You know, there's three different grades and they are XC source is what they're called and I'm gonna shoot them I probably I'm not gonna shoot them in the way you guys think I'm gonna be shooting but uh, yeah I'm gonna take uh, photos of them and uh, see what I can get um, hopefully I'll be up in around the Peak District around probably around the forest area because um, that's pretty local as well so I'll be shooting uh, shooting these so stick around for those images and uh, until then I'll see you in the next one so Good luck!